Hi guys, this is Melissa from Italy and I want to welcome you uh, in the International Day and to my presentation Explore the Unknown. Um, while I was adjusting my slides, I thought, oh my god, what will they think, think about with this title, Explore the Unknown? And the first person or character, better, that appeared on my mind was Russell. Uh, I'm sure you know this character, uh, the explorer from the Up movie. Well, I won't talk about this kind of unknown. But um, actually, this is what I mean with unknown. My presentation, in fact, will give you some tips about studying on a small city, so a small university. Uh, as a consequence, I will talk about not well-known places in Italy. Uh, yeah, uh, when you think about studying abroad, uh, you might think of, movie, of uh, moving to a city uh, like Milan, Rome, and these cities are beautiful, don't get me wrong, and are very interesting to visit. But I want you to consider other options too, and for different reasons. Actually, this is what I did. I come from a small university uh, in Italy, and now I am here on my Erasmus in Kortrijk, and that is not a big city. Uh, so, uh, these are my tips or reasons why you should consider living in a small city and studying in a small university. First, you can see um, um, in this slide one of the tips because you get the um, opportunity to visit places like this that are not uh, so touristic but they are very, very beautiful. But uh, let's move on and my first tip is teachers and friendship. It's easier. In fact, teachers can help you directly and easily because there is not such a big number of students in their classes. Also, in my experience, making friends was so easy and fast, and I'm a shy person. Because the class is not so big, you meet the same people every day and you get to know everyone very well. Also, the economic aspect is important. Cities like Macerata, where I study, are not expensive as big cities. For example, in Macerata, the rental house starts from 200 euros per month, while in cities like Bologna or Milan, it usually starts from 400 or uh, 500. Traffic and transport. Uh, most of the time, you can reach everything by foot in small cities um, or by bike, but it's not uh, bike are not uh, such a big thing in Italy. Uh, and when you take uh, public transport to go visit some, some places, um, you can use trains, buses, and they are not that crowded and the traffic is okay. So I hope my presentation was interesting and that you will decide to go study abroad. Don't hesitate to contact me if you have any more questions. Grazie per, um, for your attention and bye!